what does the thousand years refer to? Uh, you'll notice it listed several times in our text. Well, it's almost certainly not meant to be taken literally uh, because as we've seen in the book of Revelation, numbers are highly symbolic and the book of Revelation is full of symbolic numbers. And so you have the number three, which uh, is the number of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You have the number of seven, which is the number of perfection. And the beast has the number 666, the number of imperfection, perfect imperfection. You have the number 10, which is the number of power and authority. Uh, you have the number 12, which is the number of the church, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 tri apostles. Uh, and so when John in chapter uh, 14 and 7 numbers, sees the, uh, the church, he sees 144,000 standing with Christ. 12 times 12 times 1,000. This innumerable host of saints through all the ages now with Christ. So the numbers are symbolic. And since that's true, there is no reason at all then to interpret this number literally. There are many reasons to interpret it symbolically. It stands for something. Well, of course, the question then is, what does it stand for? If it's a symbol, what is it a symbol of? Well, 1,000 in, in those days would be, would be a, a number sort of like, it's just too big to count. Uh, but but it, this number, uh, 1,000 years, it, 10 times 10 times 10, right? 10 to the power of three. 10, the number of power and authority. Three, the, the number of God. God exercising his power and authority. That defines the age. That defines the period of time. And so I believe that the, the best interpretation of this is that John is, is referencing the, the gospel age. As Christ reigns, the gospel is proclaimed, the church is built up, and the elect are gathered in. In other words, we are living in the millennium. We're living in the thousand years. 